Here's a wild thought. What if I told you AI isn't actually threatening most tech jobs, but instead creating entirely new ones? I know it's kind of contradictory to what you hear on social media or the news, but stick with me here. I mean, every day we see headlines about AI replacing jobs, writing code, designing websites, creating art, and it honestly, it feels like nothing is safe. But I spent the past few months diving into research from leading institutions such as MIT Review, Stanford's human-centered AI, and industry leaders. I've spoke to so many of these industry leaders as well, and I discovered something fascinating. Not only are some tech skills surviving AI automation, they're actually becoming more valuable because of it. And today I'm going to show you exactly which ones and more importantly, why, and also share with you some courses you can take. According to a 2023 McKinsey report, while AI could automate up to 30% of work hours by 2030, it's also expected to create 97 million new jobs this year. But here's what's really interesting. The nature of these jobs isn't what most people expect. Let me show you or explain to you what I mean. Research from MIT, specifically in their report, The AI Skills Gap, which was released in 2023, reveals that we aren't seeing AI replace human technical skills. Instead, there's a fundamental shift in how these skills are applied. Think of it as the difference between playing a single instrument and conducting an entire orchestra. Imagine AI tools as a superpowered team of assistants. They can execute tasks incredibly fast, but they need someone who understands the bigger picture to guide them. And that's where you and I come in. <laughs> We're not going anywhere, I laugh but we're not going anywhere anytime soon. Let's break down these future proof, future proof, more future proof than other skills one by one. First is systems architecture and integration. Imagine you're building the world's most complex Lego structure, except the pieces can change shape and function. Research from Google AI emphasizes that modern tech systems are like living organisms. They're constantly evolving and we need experts to orchestrate that evolution. Some real world examples would include things such as Amazon's e-commerce platform, which seems to evolve every single day. Tesla's autonomous driving systems, which are also evolving all the time and need experts, human experts. Modern healthcare systems as well. Each of these systems require an understanding of so many different technical aspects from API integration, load balancing, scalability patterns, AI service integration. And now here are three courses you should look into if you are interested in upskilling in this specific area. One is microservices fundamentals. This is the course uh, from Coursera where you can really learn the principles behind microservices, API design and scalable architectures, which are essential for building and integrating complex systems. These aren't going anywhere. These are. These skills are becoming more and more in demand. Another is architecting with Google Cloud. This is also by Coursera or on Coursera. And on this course, you can explore cloud-based systems architecture, load balancing, and the integration of diverse services in dynamic environments. Now, here are a few others to check out as well. The next skill I wanna talk about is called AI orchestration and prompt engineering. Now, prompt engineering is quite a new field in the sense that universities and schools haven't really added it to their curriculum yet. Research from the IBM Institute for Business Value actually illustrates how important prompt engineering is. And it's, I think, in my opinion, it's becoming more and more important. More so important because at the end of the day, we all are prompt engineers. I mean, we're all sitting at our computers using ChatGPT or other uh, chatbots. But there is a very, very important skill to being a professional prompt engineer. Uh, you need to understand the models you are working with, the systems that are in integrating the responses. You need to really understand everything. And here are some courses that you should look into. One is Prompt Engineering for AI by Udemy. And this really dives into the topic of prompt engineering, practices for crafting effective prompts, which is kind of difficult for a lot of people to do. Another is foundations of large language models. This is on edX. And this really helps you understand how AI models interpret language, covering chain of thought prompting, few shot learning, and context engineering. These are things that are all very important for actual prompt engineers to really understand. Now, here are a few other ones to check out as well. Next up is machine learning infrastructure design. And this, in my opinion, is where things get pretty interesting. So research featured on the Netflix technology blog, which I love, by the way, if you don't follow that blog, you definitely should, showed that while building AI models is one thing, creating systems that can train, deploy, and monitor thousands of models in production is a whole different challenge we face. I mean, this involves things like training pipeline design, model deployment strategies, monitoring systems, resource optimization. I mean, version control for AI, the list goes on. Now here are three courses you should look into if you're interested in this area. One is machine learning engineering for production. This is on Coursera, I, I love Coursera. And it really is a compre comprehensive deep dive into building, deploying and monitoring machine learning pipelines in production environments. 
Another one is building and deploying AI solutions. This is on Udacity, and it focuses on end-to-end -end life cycle of ML models, including training pipelines, deployment strategies, and automated testing frameworks. Things that we covered are important in this skill set. Now, here are a few other ones to look into as well. Coming in at the fourth skill is data ethics and governance architecture. And this might be one of the most critical skills on our list, and here's why. By 2025, this year, we're projected to create 463 exabytes of data every day, which is equivalent to this many DVDs per day. I mean, it's, I can't wrap my head around it. Research from Stanford's Human-Centered AI emphasizes that the challenge isn't just managing this data, but ensuring it's used ethically and responsibly while still driving innovation. Here are some key areas it includes privacy regulations, ethical AI frameworks, bias detection and mitigation, data sovereignty, and algorithm fairness. There's a lot of other ones as well, but those are some of the top ones that you need to be really well versed in. Now, here are three courses you should look into if you're interested in upskilling. One is data science ethics. This is on Coursera. I know, I'm a Coursera person, as I just mentioned. Exploring ethical challenges in data management, covering privacy regulations and bias detection, and also covering responsible AI frameworks, which I think is really interesting. They even a few months ago, it feels like there wasn't courses like this that covered the ethics side of things when it comes to data. So it's really exciting. Here are two other courses though to look into if you're interested in growing your skills in this direction. Coming in at number five is human AI collaboration design. This is where art meets science. It's, I think it's really cool. So check out these collaboration tools as examples. We have GitHub Copilot, Midjourney, GPT interfaces, ChatGPT, AutoCAD AI features. I mean, the World Economic Forum, uh, Future of Jobs for 2023, actually underscores the importance of understanding the human side of AI, which sounds kind of counterintuitive, but you need to know, we need people who know how people want to react or interact with these advanced tools. Now, successful human AI collaboration relies on someone who is skilled in intuitive interfaces, can provide clear feedback loops, trust calibration, really understands AI and the technical side, but also understands humans, which kind of sounds funny, but a lot of humans don't understand humans and what they're looking for. It's kind of like UI UX researcher or designer, but in a whole different world. Here are three courses you should look into if you are interested in upskilling in this area. One is human-centered AI, and this is on Stanford online or edX, you can find it. And this is a really the study intersection of AI and human behavior to design intuitive interfaces and foster effective human AI collaboration. And here are two other ones to check out as well. I think this is such an interesting topic to look into and explore, especially if you have, you know, you want to flex more of that art or creative side of you as well, and that human side, but you're interested in AI. But here's what ties all of these skills together. They all require what I call full stack thinking. It's not enough nowadays to just understand the technical side. You also need to understand or have insight into things such as the business side, business impact, user needs, ethical implications of what you are building, security considerations. I mean, all of these things need to come together. You can no longer get a good job, I would say, without having more full stack knowledge of other areas, even if it's just high level in other areas. So here's the big picture. With tech skills that will thrive in the age of AI, they're not solely about coding or technical, one technical area. They're about mastering the interplay between technology, human needs, and societal implications. The future really isn't about competing with AI, it's about being the person who knows how to make AI work better for humans. And that is something that AI can't replace. Now I'm curious, which one of these skills interests you the most? Let me know down in the comments and make sure to hit that subscribe button for more future tech coding, seeing where the world is headed videos. It's so important to stay informed and I hope to provide that for you in really condensed, well-researched videos. I'll see you all next time.